We spoke to Olivia Wall from EY about tech trends and M&A in the sector. Hi Olivia, thank you very much for joining us today. So when it comes to tech M&A, where are investors spending their time and money and why? Well, first of all, let me say they are spending a lot of time and a lot of money uh, in the tech sector. Uh, they, the investors uh, and acquirers have done more than 500 deals in the first half of 18. So 2018 could be the first year where we reach 1,000 M&A tech transactions worldwide. Okay. Uh, so they are spending mo money and time in the sector. and that, uh, I would say across all the sub, the sub segments within tech, software is particularly um, active at the moment and, and uh, we believe that will continue. You mentioned 2018 could be the year of the 1000th tech M&A transaction. Why do you think that is? It's been very active across the whole of the M&A sector because corporate buyers have themselves been very active. They have large cash uh, reserves. They can see the growth coming from acquisition. So that's one driver. Mm -hmm. The second one is private equity, which has been very active for many years, but every year it's a bit more than the previous year. And private equity is particularly attracted to sectors such as software, which has good um, recurring revenue characteristics. And then in addition to all that, the venture capitalist market has also been very active. There's a lot of innovation in the tech sector and that will continue to attract investors. Are you seeing any differences in terms of what's happening globally and what is happening here in the UK? I don't think there is uh, that much difference. Uh, the level of activity is high globally and is high in the UK. Investors will be interested in good quality businesses, good quality technologies, and they will make investments and acquisitions wherever they can find those businesses. What sectors within the technology space are driving M&A activity? Yes, so software has historically uh, been the most active and will, con will continue um, to be active. Um, I touched on the attractive characteristics of uh, software, mm -hmm. uh, particularly for P. It's also just a very large and active part of, 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 of the tech business. Um, clearly, it's not just about software. Uh, we see cybersecurity as a, a combination of software and services as being uh, also a very um, active sector, clearly cybersecurity is, is very high on the agenda of most companies um, in the world. And then thirdly, you've got new technologies such, uh, within IoT in particular, and then clearly um, other new types of software activities around AI and um, robotic process automation in particular are, are also active. What's the opportunity for technology startups and scale-ups? Well, again, um, all across the sectors, there's innovation, uh, there is growth. The um, opportunities is investors are many more. So the VCs have been around for a long time, but there's now funds, more traditional private equity funds, who are prepared to invest earlier in the in the cycle. Mm -hmm. So you effectively have more more pools of money competing for for startups. So it's all good news for people who are at the forefront of um, innovation. And finally, what are your predictions for the market? We see those trends continuing. Uh, we don't think uh, 2018 is, is, will be a peak here. We think some of the drivers to the market will continue. So there's continued uh, growth in the software market, continued innovations and new startups. So we think this deal activity will continue into 19 and 20. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.